what's up everybody welcome back to the channel guys today we're going to be discussing what i really want to see from trippy on a love letter to you five before we do start i know that 47 percent of the people that watch these videos aren't subscribed so if you're new here drop a sub it'll help out the channel a lot and with that being said we're gonna get started trippy has been releasing a few singles in 2022 definitely the lowest amount of music that He's released honestly since he blew up back in 2017, but we've gotten four singles for a love letter to you five. Ain't Safe with Don Tolliver, Save Me Please, First Degree Murder, and Big 14 with Offset and Moneybag Yo. Out of these four singles, I'm not sure if these two will actually make it onto the album or not. I'm assuming they will because they have almost combined 10 million streams or actually a little over. But comparing this rollout and these singles to what we heard on a love letter to you honestly one two three and especially four it just feels like something's kind of missing to me and that's really what i want to look at in this video don't get me wrong trippy is definitely i think going down a path that a lot of people will enjoy the album because we've already gotten a couple hype songs like i would consider ain't safe more hype big 14 is definitely hype and then we've gotten the more slow love quote-unquote sad songs like save me please and first degree murder but it just isn't feeling like a proper a love letter to you rollout trippy usually drops his a love letter to use anywhere from october to november and that did not happen this time this puts us in a little bit of a weird position because we know trippy is most likely not gonna drop in december unless it's the very end of the month and that just comes to the fact that a lot of bigger artists will only release at the start or the end of december project wise because of christmas music getting streamed so much and trippy's already confirmed that ain't safe is the last single before we get the album that could always change but if we really do have all the singles for the album and we didn't get it in november and we might not get it in december well that obviously leaves us with a 2023 release date which will make 2022 one of the first years if not the first year trippy has not dropped a mixtape or an album that's honestly crazy if you put that into perspective and i'm not even saying that that's necessarily bad don't get me wrong i want to love letter to you five i wish and hope we still do get it this year but it's seeming more so like trippy is going to be releasing it around the time he did with the love letter to you four deluxe which i believe was in january or february january would make sense to get the track list and the artwork and the release date for the project whether it would release mid january or early february just to fit with the whole valentine's vibe either way though trippy usually does does release an artwork, a track list, and a release date prior to getting the album. He did that with Pegasus, he did it with Trip at Night, I even believe he did it with Neon Shark, I know he did it with the Love Letter to You 4, that's usually just how Trippy handles his rollout. So the fact that he has been super silent on this album lately tells me that we are getting closer to the release, but we still might have a little bit to go just because he hasn't announced anything yet. I'm really hoping Trippy can come through with this album and release it in a timely manner and i hope it has some songs on there that just give it that a love letter to you vibe if you've listened to the other projects and you enjoy them then you definitely know what i'm talking about but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one